What's up guys, Chicks there from Chicks Tech Reviews. Today I bring you an Android 7 upgrade video for the Magic C C300. So this is a hybrid Android TV box. Um, you've got built-in TV tuners, a very nice TV box, but it's running Android version 6. Well, Android 7.1 is now available for this TV box. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can upgrade step by step. So let's get right to it. So to do this upgrade, you will need any Windows laptop. So you can't do the upgrade with Mac. Um, I'm using the GPD Pocket, which is running Windows 10, but this will work on older systems too. Now, another thing you're going to need is a USB-A to USB-A cable. So both ends will look like this. I will leave a link for this cable in the description so you know you're getting the right one. You're also going to need a reset pin or a safety pin, which is what I'm going to be using. And last but not least, the C300 TV box. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is download two files from the description box below. You will have a 1.5 gigabyte firmware file and then a much smaller 3 megabyte USB burning tool. So you've downloaded the two files. The first thing you do is extract the USB burning tool. So we just extract it. You can download WinZip or WinRAR. Just extract it to the desktop. Open the folder and you will see a software setup file. Double click it and install that software. So press OK. Next, next, next. Create a desktop icon is ideal. Press next and install. So now it's asking me to install the device driver. Of course, I'm going to click next and the driver is being installed and it's done already. That is the software installed and here is the shortcut to USB burning. So let's open up the USB burning software. Here it is. It's in a different language, so we need to make it into English. Here it is. The second option, the middle option there, you can see it says English there. So click on it. We are now in English. All right, so we've got the software open. If I just shift this a little bit to the side, because you need to see what happens on that screen. Plug one end of the USB into this port. Um, it could work on any port, but I'm going to do this because that's what it shows on their website. And you can see it's the port that is right next to the TF card. Keep the other end ready. That's going to go in the laptop, but not yet. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to press the reset button with the pin on the TV box. And at the same time, we have to somehow plug the USB in whilst the reset button is being pressed. So now the reset hole on this TV box and many other new Android TV boxes is actually inside the AV port. So there's no dedicated reset hole. Inside there, there is actually a little push button, a little black push button. And if I press it, you'll be able to hear it there. All right, I've got it. Then I let go of it. There it is. Can you hear that? It's clicking just like a button. Now, you can take the case off if you're not comfortable doing this, if you can't find it. So we keep the reset button press. Make sure your laptop doesn't turn off like mine. OK, so you keep the reset button press. I've got it pressed there. Don't let go of that button. You don't need any power on the TV box. So all the power and everything will come from this USB cable. Now, somehow plug the USB cable in to your PC without letting go of the reset. I think I can do it. I've done it. We heard a noise on the laptop. There we go. Connect success. You can take the pin out and you can throw it in the corner. So it says connect success there, which means you've done everything correctly. If you haven't got the connect message, I suggest you rewind the video a little bit and do that reset whole part again. So we are now ready to burn the files. All you do now is click on file. So click on import image, click on desktop. Okay, and there it is 1.5 gigs C300 Android 7.1. So click on that and click open. So the image is checking. It will take a longer time if the image file is larger. So please wait. So that could take a while. So on the side, you have some settings. Make sure it's exactly as mine. Erase flash can be checked. Keep it on normal erase and erase bootloader. That's it. Nothing else. Do not do any other options. So we are ready to start the firmware update. So all you do now is click on start. All right, you can see there's a percentage bar right there. And we are now upgrading to Android 7.1. Now do not disconnect this at any stage now. Make sure you do not interrupt this process now. You don't lose any power. You don't disconnect the USB cables. Because if you do, you can end up bricking the Android TV box. 
So you have to let this get to 100 before you disconnect it. Okay, so we have reached 100%. It says burning successfully and we have a green bar. It took exactly four minutes and one second to complete the upgrade. So the burning process is successful. Um, we now have Android 7.1 on this TV box. We can now disconnect the cable without worrying and the process is complete. So there you have it guys. That was the Android 7.1 upgrade for the Magic C C300. So now I will proceed to reevaluate this hybrid TV box so we can find out how well Android 7.1 runs on this box. So stay tuned, that video is coming up very, very soon. And with that being said, do check out all the relevant links in the description box below, including my initial review of the C300. That's all for this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you all have a brilliant day. See you in the next one, guys.